Hi there. Welcome to episode 66 of uh, Skyline's Height Mapped Intermediate Series. Um, we did a lot of zoning in the last episode, and uh, I made a really huge major mistake. I lost a lot of money, and all of my farming area just disappeared, um, but I did learn something from it. Okay, uh, a couple of things. First off, you cannot zone a residential area and a farming area together, or the farming area becomes regular industrial because it's not it's not got its farming on it anymore. Okay, there's one little one there we'll get rid of. Um, so it, be, it goes back to regular industrial, like this stuff over here, which one, is very polluting, and two, leaves you with no, zone, no farming. Now, no farming, you would think, wouldn't be a problem. But when there's no farming, suddenly you get all of these guys down here. I had almost every one of these buildings down here in the forestry department was saying, not enough buyers for products, okay? And over in my industrial area, I couldn't figure out for the life of me for a while what was wrong. This all happened off camera. Um, same thing, almost two thirds of this area was not enough buyers for products. It's not now because I've solved the problem or, or I will be solving the problem. Um, I'm going to turn this back into zoning for farming, and I'm going to purchase, uh, move some, one, at least one of these garbage facilities to uh, this area, something that will cover this area. So look at the zoning. Where do I have something I can put where a place where I can put garbage facilities for this area? Well, it kind of looks like it might be <clears throat> a case of let's buy let's buy a square and then put it way out here at the end. Okay, so down here I go. And this is where I want to buy a square. <clears throat> $30,000 gone. 30,000 more gone. Okay, but now I can get out there and put a garbage dump out here. So now we go back and I'm going to put garbage way out here. So I need a road that just goes along this whole thing. Unless, will it let me? <laughs> it will. Okay, I can put a bridge up here. And I can tie it in right here. There. Oh, yeah. Why did it do that? Do I care? No, I don't. OK. So now I have a place for the garbage to go, the garbage trucks to go. And I need water. They don't need electricity, but they need water. Okay, and I'm going to take garbage trucks from one. I don't think I need more than 30 garbage trucks. Um, okay, here's where we are. I don't think I need more than 30 garbage trucks in the garbage area. So, I mean, in the farming area. So I'm going to grab this one and move him over here. And, of course, I'm going to have to have a fire department there also and make certain that they're getting enough electricity from they're not because I put them too far over so now I get to move them yay okay moving these guys it's gonna cost me seventy five hundred dollars I don't think I want to spend that much, so I will instead, for now, run a power line out here. I, don't, I should have gotten down where you could see what I was doing. There, I just ran a power line from this to this so that this picks up electricity from here. Or it should. 
There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. So we have water, we have electricity, fire department's working, garbage is working, and garbage is going to get zoned into this new area. So before these trucks head out somewhere else, I need to make certain that I have enough in here. Okay, now this garbage truck, garbage facility, is so in the wrong place. So now that I can purchase more squares, I'm going to grab this one for 30000 and this one for 30000 Oh, there we go. Okay, then going back down into the farming area, I am now going to pull this road out along this back line. I don't want it anywhere near the water. If I can get it, if I can get it someplace where it's not near the water, that's where I'm going to go. So as far out as I can get from the water, and then let's put this guy. Oh, and he doesn't have a fire department for me to grab either. Whoa. Okay. And I really want him to have one. So. Because I don't want to depend on one that's not going to get. These, these garbage facilities are so terribly expensive that I would rather. I think I did it again. Oh, no, I didn't. He's got. Okay. Okay, so all I've done is move the garbage out here. So this will eventually um, unpollute, become unpolluted. And when that happens, um, we can fill this in. Meantime, I'm not sure, but I don't think. Yeah, Frank's Fish Sticks, Goods Unlimited, Ready to Wear. I, I, uh, all of we got to change this back into farming because everybody else needs to buy from farming. So um, this piece right here, I'm going to start a new section, including those garbage trucks in it. There we go. Just zoning it for farming again. And get the farming in there. Okay, so now these will all disappear, of course, but they'll come back as farming and our industry and our um, forestry will have uh, something, somebody to buy boxes from. Like the industry, like Frank's Fish Sticks and the pellets, I mean Frank's Fish Sticks and all the other places that are industry, the Ice Cube Factory, Frank's Fish Sticks, Ready to Wear, Garments Unlimited. I mean, all of these guys, they have to put their stuff in boxes to ship it. Where do they get the boxes? They make the boxes, but where do they get the stuff to make the boxes? The Forestry Department. And the Forestry Department is claiming Forestry Friends, Woody's Wood, Forestry friends. I mean, these guys are claiming that nobody's buying their product. Well, that's because the industry needs to make the boxes. And uh, the industry is not going to make boxes if there's no farming asking to have things to put boxes in. So because this farming was gone, uh, we lost a huge buyer base for our forestry department and our and and also our um, industrial group and if I they're never going to change if I don't turn the game on okay that's number one so we fix that problem number two oh do I have uh, I well we'll see if I need it I don't know if in the farming area if people die or if they wait to go home to die so we'll just wait on this on the crematoriums for now and also the farming is probably not going to be doing too good for a while because look at all this pollution I created bad me bad me oh well 
it'll it'll go back in eventually. Um, in the meantime, putting the game on hold again, uh, we now have our money showing down here at the bottom where we had zero zero. I know better than to go from a beginner game to an intermediate or hard mode game without first going in and changing the um, manager section which I had to go back and, and go in and change the uh, manager section so that the unlimited money was turned off and the um, milestones were turned off or turned back on or turned the block on the milestones was turned back on or off so um, this is intermediate and it's not supposed to have either one of those and that's what happened was I got a zero down here that was that was actually the good news I knew how to fix it the bad news was all of episode 65 that I that you've just seen previous to this one every change I made in that I had to go back pull up the 64 game which is why I saved these guys and I had to go back and I had to change everything I had to make all the changes over again on 64 so that they matched up with 65 before I could go any further. Now, speaking of that, while I was doing that, I made a couple extra changes that I should tell you about because on the off chance that maybe somebody from, say, the beginners group where they actually followed along might have started watching the intermediate group and decided to also follow along, make their own map, and follow what we're doing. So... Uh, the changes I made were, uh, I went in and I, on the lower plateau, which is right here, previous to, uh, in, in episode 65, I didn't, all of this part of the zoning wasn't in here. And the garbage pickup for the lower plateau was right here. It needed that. And I didn't give it to it. So it had no garbage pickup. So that's been changed. You need to take it all the way out. Um, okay, that's that's number one. Uh, uh, okay, the railroad over in the industry. I didn't pull the zoning for that industry out into the railroad, which I needed to do. So I did that. And I'm just doing this real quick for those of you who, you know, need to fix anything that that I did that you needed to know about. Okay. Okay. Nope. Uh, turn off this. Oh, and up in the top here, um, because I was trying to, just because I was trying to figure out what to do for the zoning, um, up in this top plateau, in the upper plateau, these two cemeteries in the back corner here they were turned on and I turned them off so previously they were they look like this and if you're following along with the game yours would still look like this okay with the purple on them okay so what I did was I just went in and turned them off because I didn't feel that we would need them we can always turn them back on later. Left the crematoriums on. Okay. Explain that to you. Turn on some. I'm just checking to make certain that everything I wanted to tell you in this one gets done. Um, oh, uh, when I said 81 tiles was, or was it 81 tiles? No, that the Previously, I told you that the um, garbage and hearse enhancements were by a, by uh, somebody else, but they're really by Akira, A K I R A. If you want to go grab that, okay, okay. Uh, let's see here. I think that's all of it. So. Let's see if somebody comes to pick up the dead guy in this. Apparently, there's a dead guy here. Oh, oh, he's already gone, I guess. Looks like he got taken. Oh, there he is. 
dead body in the park and I don't see any hearses coming but I think I'll go down here and just kind of watch from a distance I'll grab this guy if I can get down there where he is or she is and then get out of her and go down where she's at there we go okay so now there should be a hearse coming we can see that we can see the skull right there if I line him up he's right below the Tweety Bird okay and hopefully there will be a and it's I think I think it's that park that's um, right ahead of uh, right ahead of us with the hill so I'm thinking that if I just watch both sides of this park pretty soon there should be uh, people there's a guy walking up on the hill up there but if I get any closer see he's coming down off the hill there he is by the bench I don't know how, how much you can see here but um, I'm not seeing any hearses coming and I've got it on high and we got a bunch of hearses in here well I was kinda hoping that okay forget the hearses let's just go up the hill that'd be fun just to go up the hill oh 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 I think I just saw the hearse get over there quick before they're gone did I did I did I Okay, maybe not. Okay, there's the path. I don't see anybody over there either. Don't see any hearses coming. Oh, there he is. There he is. And he went right on by. Okay, how come? Huh. All right. Do we still have... Yeah, we still have one. Maybe we're in the wrong area. Okay, there's, there's our... Uh, there's our skull under the Tweety Bird. I don't get it. Why is nobody coming to pick him up? You would think the parks area would be the first one they go to, wouldn't you? Okay. Okay, maybe it's this park. See, the deal is, I've got... I don't know which side um, the vehicles would come from. That side, or this side. This is a park that's kind of on both sides. Okay, well, waiting for a hearse is boring, although I did want to see, you know, well, there goes one. Did we lose our... No, we still got one. Okay. Okay, I guess we're... I picked a bad place to look for a hearse, because, I mean, let's face it, I, I would turn around and look one way and the hearse would come behind me. Those guys are so quick on the pickup, no pun intended, <clears throat> that uh, it wouldn't take any time at all. This is a neat little pool, but you know, never nobody ever goes swimming in it. But then nobody ever plays. You know what? We don't have any ladies with strollers or, or men or women bringing toddlers, you know, to the areas where there are playgrounds for oh there he goes there he goes put everything on hold and chase him back over this way because that's where he's headed 
Let's see if we can keep up with him. Oh, shoot. He isn't. There they go. Maybe he'll keep going? Yep, there's still a skull over the park. Nope, he went back the other way. Go figure. Okay. Oh, I am so... I was going to get inside the hearse, but he's behind a bunch of garbage trucks, so we're not doing that. Okay, guys. I have to go check this out. I noticed this once before. Do you see what I see up there in the, in the sky? In the sky, guys. Okay, in the sky. Why is there... Okay, maybe I can get closer to it this way by going this way. There he is. There is a truck that is actually... Can you see him? I'm going to see if I can click on him. <gasps> I can. This truck is, well, flying. He is. He's flying. And he's he's uh, importing oil products to a drugstore. So <laughs> let's 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 watch him. <laughs> I know this is a glitch in the game, and it's not something I should be showing you as fun things to do. But why not? I mean, we rode with a seagull. So let's see if he ever if he ever lights down, or if he just you know goes across the game like this forever and then drops out of sight, maybe. I've got it on fast, and he looks like he's going pretty slow. But then, you know, he's he's traveling like an airplane, so who knows? Oh, this is so weird. This is so very, very weird. He's headed to a drugstore, and there is some commercial, I think, up here. Let's see if he actually gets back on the road. This guy decided that the the... commute traffic was too heavy so he decided to do it his own way I guess yep here he goes gonna go right through the park oh my god okay oh and he disappeared okay I figured that might be what he'd do once he got to where he was going which was right up here he lighted down right here. Is he still there? Nope. Nope, he isn't. You have to wonder if there's a drugstore here, though. Okay, that's a residence. These are all dr Okay, there's the drugstore right there that he was going to. Uh-huh. Yep, he was going to that one, and as soon as he got got there, he just, you know, disappeared, because he, cause he was kind of a glitch in the game anyway, unless he went down this way. Nope. Cool, huh? It was just fun to watch. Okay, let's, let's catch somebody going downhill here. And just just walk along with them. There's someone who's riding downhill. That'd be fun. Okay, we're with Robert Davis. And the reason I can do this right now is because we have 4,000 plus going in. And so why not take a little time out and just go have some fun. So we are a fly on Robert Davies's nose. And he's a pretty reckless driver. He's just zipping around everybody.
This for me is the fun stuff, just getting out here and enjoying. I'm thinking we might try turning on the Science Center again. <clears throat> Remember way, way, way back, we had episodes way, way back where we had to turn off the Science Center because it was costing too much and it wasn't making any money. And it probably still wouldn't make very much money. But, oh, where did he go? He got off the bike is what he did. But I don't see him. Nope, I don't see him. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yeah. No, that's a po... No, that's... No, okay. Well, he got off the bike and disappeared then. I get... Oh, no, wait a minute. He was way down here. I must not have... Did I not... I thought I put blue on him. Mr. Davies, huh? That's William Scott. Oh, no, wait a minute. We were already around the corner and looking at that. So where did he go? Oh, he got off here, and I'll bet you he was headed for the metro. Which means that he probably... Okay, we're looking for some guy whose net last name is Davies. I'm seeing lots of people, but I'm not seeing any Davieses. Okay. There's a Holly, there's a Robert, there's a William, an Annabelle. Huh. He obviously took off to go to the to the metro, you know. Robert, Julie, Dexter, and his dog Ashley. Huh. I'm bound to determine to find this guy. Anna, who's the guy in front of her? Earl, another Earl. Okay, he must have gotten, he must have ran really fast and gotten over here and gotten into the metro before I could even get a chance to check him out. Anyway, Davies is gone. He hopped off his bike and headed for the metro right next to this thing. So, so much for Davies. Who are we going to, who can we follow who's, um, let's see, who's going the other way, away from the metro? Anybody? This is, this is when everybody goes in, I guess, huh? Okay. Okie dokie. That's as close as I can get. I turn it on and wait for the people to come out when the metro train arrives. There should be a huge bunch coming out and we can grab one of them maybe follow along with those people. We'll pick somebody walking this time. Here they come, and there they go. And let's grab Dexter Chapman, who's going to, who's, a, who's going home to the Strawberry Residence. 
That's as good as anybody, I guess, huh? Okay, so we are Dexter on Dexter's nose now. We're following everybody else who's who's going home. And apparently Dexter's going to ride his bike because he's on the bike trail. Yep, he's on a bike. Ah. <sighs> Where is he going? Oh, okay. So, is he walking now? Yeah. Oh, that was quick. Okay, so he didn't go very far. So, who do we know? Who can we grab who's walking the other way? Does anybody walk? Not very far, I guess, huh? Okay, there goes Grandpa. He's going to a drugstore. Maybe he won't jump on a bike. Now people will. They'll jump on a bike at any moment. Uh, if you see if you see the green thing in front of us, you'll know that he jumped on a bike. But he's headed for a drugstore, so he might go a little ways, at least to the metro station, if not any more. So far he's walking. Can't guarantee that'll continue, but you know. There we go. Headed for the metro. I'll bet you anything. I don't think he'd walk all the way to the drugstore that's in the middle of town up here. He might. This is a very active area because of the metro station. I'll bet you anything he goes to the metro. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where is he going? Okay, there's the fire station, and the metro's right across the street from it, so, yeah, I think he's going to the metro, I do, we'll see, yep, and we're on, we're a fly on his nose rather than a sim ourselves so we can follow him down, except I think I better... Make it blue or he or we won't be able to follow him down. There we go. He's down the stairs. And in order to be able to see what he's doing. There. Now we can see what he sees, which is a whole bunch of people waiting for the train. On both sides. That big um this piece right here that's flowing through with the arrows. That's where the trains come through, and they're going to go that way like the arrows do. Eventually, eventually there'll be a train, whether he gets on it or not, couldn't tell you. I'm waiting for a mod that puts walls and a ceiling on this metro so that we're not con continuously looking out at areas down the hill and areas up above us. Okay, there's the station. Let's see if he gets on it. Okay, there's Grandpa. He's getting on the, on the train, and he's headed out. Right there. Headed out. Okay, I've never gotten that little tag up before. I wonder if I could actually... I'll lose him if I try. But I was thinking I might be able to grab him at that point. Guess not. There he is, though. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I forgot, and I pushed a keyboard key. The minute you do that, you lose him. Okay, so that's the metro line. What happens if I try to follow the metro line? Oh, my goodness. I've never done this before. We're now at the front of the metro train. We're actually at the front of the metro train. I have never been the conductor of the metro train before. Woohoo! Going up the hill in the tunnel that we can't see the sides of. Coming out of the tunnel any minute now. Oh no, we're still underneath everybody. We're still traveling underneath all the buildings and all the houses and all the trees. And here we come to another metro station. And we probably picked some people up, but... Haha! <laughs> oh, how cool is this? We're actually the metro train traveling underneath 
the you know the ground level we're actually I think we're gonna go under the water now oh we are we're going under the water and we can actually see what's down below the cliff that we're going through that's what we're seeing ahead of us right there is everything that's below the cliff all those other cities and such now it's going up and going to the other metro station where there should be a lot of people because it's you know heavily populated area yeah look at all those guys okay this is what the metro train station is finding so I'm gonna get out of it try and see if that lets me stay with it probably not nope it didn't it took me back to where I started but where it where it actually took us to was oh gosh maybe that was it I don't know okay I don't know where it took us I guess maybe this is where it took us yeah because there's the little blue thing right there which I can now not get out of unless I do that maybe let's see if there's a grandpa here well even if there was I wouldn't know which one he was because I didn't get his name so okay well that was fun oh shit You know, I just got done doing the most fantastic thing, and I did it all with the pause button on. I don't know how much you saw of what, but I got to show it to you again, because this was really neat. I was trying to follow a grandpa, and I put a pause on. I was watching. Oh gosh, I don't know what you saw now, but I'm gonna. I'm just gonna grab anybody who's going in, and. Okay, I'm, I'm on a, a sim. I'm going down into the sim section. I am now going to... This is so cool. It's something new I didn't catch before. Okay, so we're now in with all these people waiting. that are green, waiting to get on the train. The ones in white are just getting off of a train and headed up uh, to the, um, you know, ground level. Okay, so this person is getting on the train she is now on the train now if I can do this correctly if I can grab this front section of the train okay and then say okay I want to follow this and see where it goes now I am the conductor at the front of the train and I can see the other train coming in uh oh did I grab the back end of it no okay I grabbed the front okay so now we are we're driving the train <laughs> the metro train underground and we're going to the next metro station underground and here it comes with all these people in it okay we are now the metro train coming into the station how neat is that okay so now if I pop out of this maybe I'm gonna hit the escape and see if it works yeah okay so there's there's my train and if I pop out of it now there I, I can't find the person that I followed in but maybe I can grab somebody who's white coming out of it okay any one of these people that's white Amanda going to work that looks like that might be somebody white yeah she is so gonna turn it blue and Amanda is now leaving the train and going up the stairs well she should be going up the stairs. <gasps> she just got on the other side now she's gonna get on another train that was not what I wanted that was not what I wanted shoot okay let's see if somebody gets out of the train and I can see someone come by maybe I can grab them that's white who's going up probably not I'm gonna try escaping up 
And when the next train comes in... Okay, there's a bunch of people in white coming down to get on the train, but I'm waiting for some people to get off a train, like those folks, and see if I can't grab one of those. No, I don't want the metro station. I want an actual person. Okay, let's see if... Because I can't get anybody in here because I keep grabbing people that are in the station. Okay, Brittany is at least headed across. Gosh, it's, it's hard not to get the station instead of, I keep getting the station. Maybe I should have stuck with the guy that I had. Okay, Brittany Young, hopefully, is going yes we'll follow Brittany up the hill here if she and hopefully she won't turn around and and there we go okay she actually went up out of the station and I don't know where we are now but apparently we're in by the look of it we're in a commercial area with a lot of stores Oh, and we're also at 41 minutes, and I probably should close this one out. Oh, dear. Oh, well. I'll see you in episode 67, I guess. You folks have a good time, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Oh, well, we might as well watch these guys first. Oh, we can't. He's gonna. She's gonna go right through him. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Signing off. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.